and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Lindsay. I'm a wife. I'm a mama to a 19 month old little girl and I'm currently pregnant with our second baby and due in only four short weeks. I'm due in early August of 2022 with a little boy and we could not be more excited to welcome him into our family. Now, if you've been following along, you have seen my pregnancy updates since I think about like week three of my pregnancy. So I started these updates early on. So if you haven't checked them out yet, go check them out. This week, we are going over the 36 week update of the baby, body changes, what's going on with my body, my uterus, and my bump date. We are also going to go over labor and delivery prep, the supplements I'm taking, and what I'm doing for my body to prep my body for labor and make it an easier labor overall. So stay tuned for that. If you're not already a member of our community here, I'd love to have you. So please subscribe, like my content, engage with me in the comments. I'd love to chat with you. First and foremost, what is going on with this little baby inside my belly at 36 weeks pregnant? The baby baby is currently the size of a bunch of kale, so about this big, about 18 to 19 inches and 6 pounds. The skull is not yet fused together, making an easier delivery for the baby. What's going on in my uterus is lightning. <laughs> The baby is starting to descend and they call it lightning because it literally feels like your <laughs> pelvic area, crotch area is on fire and I am beginning to experience that. Last night I was laying in bed and I actually almost thought I was going into labor because I had so much pressure and lightning down there. So that just started about at 36 weeks pregnant. So the baby is beginning to descend into my pelvic area and I'm so excited. Okay, at this point, I also have an increase in fluid retention, not much. My feet are just a little bit swollen. Um, I'm still wearing my wedding band and ring, so not too overly swollen with my daughter. I think there were times when I was pregnant with her that I could not even get my wedding ring on and I haven't had a problem this whole pregnancy, so yay. The supplements I'm taking, which I will go over later on in this video, must be helping. <laughs> I'm also having an extreme nesting urge. I literally have been cleaning my house from top to bottom, reorganizing rooms. I even redid my daughter's room. I did the nursery. I'm <laughs> decluttering things, organizing cabinets. I am just getting ready for this baby to come because he can come at any moment. It could be this week or it could be in a few weeks. We'll see. Also, I am having some pretty severe rib pain in my upper right quadrant. It has been keeping me up some nights. It's very uncomfortable when I lay down. It doesn't really bother me when I'm standing up. I have a short torso, so I think it's just the baby's feet kicking into my ribs. I'm not really sure, but that's what most mama say or pregnant mama say or doctors um, that it's a baby's feet just up there kicking her out. So I have started experiencing that for about a week and a half now. So it started at 35 weeks pregnant. Let's go over some body changes. I have altogether gained roughly about 30 pounds. In the last few weeks, I haven't put on much weight. I gained my most weight in the second trimester. I gained around 18 to 20 pounds then. And I assume I might gain a couple more pounds, but weight gain does begin to slow down towards the end of your pregnancy. Let's see, my skin is getting itchy because my abdomen area is really stretching outward. It looks like a big ball. You will see it pretty soon. And that's about like, one of the only body changes I have right now. Um, I have gained weight overall, but I don't really feel it. I feel like I just have a big ball in the center of my body. <laughs> Let's get to the bump date. Are you ready? All right, here it is. <gasps> here is baby boy at 36 weeks pregnant. I don't know. I think he's dropped a little bit. I think he's dropped like maybe once or twice <laughs> with my daughter. I feel like I dropped or she dropped like three times before she was delivered. 
So this one, I feel like he is dropping, but I know he has more room to drop down. Okay, we are just gonna go over some labor and delivery prep that I've been doing since around like 30, like the end of my 35th week of being pregnant. Um, I started taking the superfoods powder. It's got wheatgrass, it's got kale and moringa. And moringa is really great for your digestion. It has antioxidants in it. And the kale is good for the K vitamins vitamins the k1 vitamins which are plant vitamins helping with the blood clotting but you also want to supplement with meat because meat has the k2 which is really um essential for the clotting factors when it comes to blood clotting also the wheatgrass is great for digestion it helps break down your food and absorb the nutrients you need i'm taking an iron supplement to increase my blood volume and support the baby by bringing oxygen to the baby i was slightly anemic months ago and also in my last pregnancy so i just started supplementing with one iron tablet per day if you're low in iron you're usually going to be tired pale winded um, it might be hard for you to talk you might feel weak i will say since i started taking up the iron supplement i have seen a huge change in my energy levels i was from like wanting to lay on the couch a lot <laughs> to running around my house. I'm also consuming about three dates a day. I get the organic medjool dates and they help by prepping your uterus for labor and delivery. They also help because they help with hemorrhaging when you're delivering the baby, not losing too much blood. Delivery time has been proven to be shorter and easier just by eating a few dates a day from about 36 weeks pregnant and on. Dates also increase estrogen and progesterone, which prep the uterus, and they also help ripen the cervix. I'm also seeing a chiropractor about once a week right now. I might go twice a week towards the end of my pregnancy. It's just to alleviate some pain and loosen my areas, especially the pelvic area, the sacrum, to allow the baby to descend naturally into there so seeing the chiropractor it's definitely helped with lower back pain so i highly suggest that if you have a chiropractor that you love i'm also drinking raspberry leaf tea i love the flavor of the tea you can add honey to it if you want to give it a little bit more flavor i'm drinking about one to two cups a day right now um sometimes only one but no more than two cups a day they say to drink one to three cups a day and this is just to help prep your uterus and as well as dates it also it has been proven to lessen your labor and delivery time it also has vitamins and minerals to help rebuild ones that you're losing from pregnancy and post-pregnancy and it's also shown to reduce the chances of using interventions such as the vacuum or forceps to get the baby out. Okay, the last thing I do is I take about one to two detox muscle soothing baths every single week. They are composed of Epsom salt, betonite clay, and baking soda. And the Epsom salt, I do about like half a cup. The betonite clay, I do a half a cup, and baking soda, one fourth cup. And the Epsom salt I use for muscle soothing, so to reduce any like inflammation in my body and soothe and calm the muscles and alleviate the lower back pain that I'm having. I do the bentonite clay and the baking soda, soda to detoxify my body. Um, I always feel great. I get a good sweat from this bath actually, and obviously it's not too hot because I'm pregnant, but it's warm enough and perfect for me to feel relieved and calm and detoxify. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video so, so much. I hope I provided you with some insight and some tools to prep your body for the perfect labor.